guys and welcome to Crow's Dislike. These are basically videos of things I dislike, so you might agree with them, might not. With that being said, today's topic is actually one that all of us have to deal with when we're going to get interviewed for a job. So today is, uh, I dislike, <laughs> Crow dislikes uh, interviews. And the reason why is because um, uh, I know there are certain people who have the tongue, who have the talk, they can just go into this interview and make it look great. They can sell themselves. But there are some people, like myself, who really go into these interviews and they ask us these questions about, um, kind of like, tell me a time where you, you went a bit, uh, above and below. And they basically want you to say the problem, um, the solution you did, and then the end result of what happened. And a lot of times, they ask us these questions and we don't really have the answers for it. Especially if, it, if it's like a first time job for us. And we don't really have anything that can just come out and send out. That's why I like jobs when they hire you and they're just going to throw you like to work. Like, hey, you're going to be a loader or you're going to be a non-loader. Or you, you're going to just uh, grab, grab these boxes and just stow them out. Or you're going to be a stock boy. You're going to be... Like, they, they, they don't really take much effort to really get the job. Like, um... Like I've been interviewed at UPS. Everybody, you know, the when they asked me, "Oh, why do you why do you want to work here?" Because I need a job. <laughs> I remember I, that, that lady asked me, "It's like any any particular reason?" I'm like, "No, I just I need to make money. I I, I I'm not working. I'm not doing anything. Um, I just I just need the job." Like, what 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 would you expecting? Oh, I want to work for you. UPS is such an amazing place. Blah blah blah. Like, I didn't know how to say this stuff. Like, I just needed a job. I'm, I. I, I, I don't know what else to say. It's like uh, when I went to also to work for Amazon, it's like, why do you want to work for us? I, I, I want to leave UPS I, and I need a job and, and I don't want to be at UPS anymore. So it's like, why would you ask me this? It's like, that's why I don't like interviews. Interviews just make me feel uncomfortable. It's, it's yeah, again, you have to sell yourself. You have to make yourself look amazing like it's a presentation like they, they they have to like know that you are that great in order for them to hire you and a lot of the times out of like i'm gonna say like 30 interviews i've been i only have passed two or three of them so that says a lot about me um but yeah i've been in a lot of interviews and every interview i've gone to i've never been really like a smooth sailing like it's just like, they ask me these questions, and I look at them, and I'm just like, mm, uh, this is all I can say. I, I make sure that I did things the right way. Now, what, what can I say to, to make it seem, like, better? I don't know. So, there, there's a lot of people who have a simple men mentality, you know. And especially when you're basically looking to do a supervisor position, and they get these people that do the job. And you're like, I can do the job better than that person. But the thing is, that person had the tongue. That person was able to talk. That person was able to do the things to make it look great. And it's like, now that you put them in that position, you're just like, yeah, that person sucks. That's one thing I don't like about an interview. That they don't really grab somebody, well, majority of the time, they don't really grab somebody that you can, like, rely on, trust. And say, you know, this guy's going to be amazing. I wish interviews a lot of times were based on your work ethic. Let's just say you're going to a supervisor position. And instead of just hiring this person from the outside with a college degree. Because that's what Amazon does and that's what I don't like. Um, hire someone who basically is going to be working with your company. You know they're a hard worker. You teach them the job. And then when it comes to the supervisor position, they can do the interview, but you know their work ethics count, their points count on the fact that this guy can work and we test him out to see if he can do it and he can do it. But it doesn't work that way. Nowadays, it's just more like you want that supervisor position, you can work hard as much as you want, but you're going to have to have the tongue too because you're going to have to do this interview and this interview is going to basically say, guess what? If you fail it, you fail it, and we're going to choose uh, Mr. Lazy over there, because apparently Mr. Lazy over there actually can do the talk, he can sell himself, or she can sell himself, and it's like, well, what can I do? I, I, I really, I really wish that certain jobs, well, there are certain jobs, but the jobs that I've been to, I wish it was based more on the fact that you're an amazing worker, 
We want to see you as a supervisor. We're not going to... We will give you the interview. We'll see how you do. And then we'll just, like, polish it from there. Like, because I know you might have a simple mindset and you're not thinking leadership-wise. Like, you're the owner of this business and blah, blah, blah. But we will get you to that point. I mean, from the looks of it, you can do the supervisor job. You can do it. You know how to talk to people. You know how to how to handle things. You know how to uh, uh, to do critical decisions to make sure that things are... But when it comes to the talk, it's like... Hi, I I can show you. I don't know how to talk much. <laughs> like that is my way. Like at Amazon, I am an ambassador, and that's basically someone who teaches people the um, when they come in from um from the outside and they're they're gonna experience Amazon for the first time. And I teach you basically how to do the job. That's basically my thing to teach you. And I have taught some of the best people out there. But the thing is that really doesn't show like they see it but when it comes to the interview they're gonna look at me like you train people yeah good for you are they are they still here yeah um two of them are now supervisors cool how'd you do that um talk to them about quality <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not gonna really give you like oh i did this i did this i did this and i make sure that this, um, the problems with them in the beginning was that they were not reading their screen. They were just putting the stuff into, I, I, I can say all that, but I'm just more of like, what did you concentrate the most on? Quality. I mean, you want the customer obsession, right? So you want to make sure that the customer gets his right, the right item, right? So I concentrate on quality. So there's a lot of things to interviews that just make me feel uncomfortable, especially when you have two people and they're just talking to each other and they talk to you and then you, you have to answer that question and sometimes you're just like, can I show you? <laughs> like that's, that's how my mentality works. It's like, can, can I show you? Cause I can show you, but I'm not good, that good with words. Like, but you teach. I'm like, yeah, that's because I don't need to read all this paperwork. I have it in my mentality and I can show them. And step by step, I can do that. I'm not much of, I'm going to read this to you guys and then just make sure you understand it. No, I just show it to you guys. Like, I, I read it, I make sure I I, I go, I, I skim through it quickly and then I just show you and then I skim through the next part and show you. That's how I am. That's my teaching way. Now, another thing for an interview. Now, this happened to me actually recently as I had an interview for a supervisor position and I was exhausted. They, they My interview was for 9 in the morning and I was working night shift and... <laughs> The following day, I was actually good. I was like, oh, I didn't even bring that much energy. I just was talking to the whole night. I made sure people were doing the job right. The second night, for some reason, I, I, it seemed like I worked harder. My, my mind just got exhausted, so I came home and slept. I went to this interview exhausted. I was dead. So another thing, make sure that you guys go to interviews uh, where you're not just dead. Because if you're dead, yeah, you're going to just fail the interview. And I'm, I'm sorry to say. And for me, it was more like... I had so much energy just to do basically the math portion of the uh, of like of the interview and the role play. When they started asking me like the serious questions for leadership, I just I, my mind was just like bad time, bad time. So make sure you guys go to an interview again, well rested because it will af affect you and it will show the type of character you are when you're exhausted. And for me, it was more like. Bad time, bad time. And they were asking me, and they got to the point where I was just like, all right, brain, I know you're dying on me, but think, brain, think. Don't, don't just, and I said this out loud while they were interviewing, I'm like, don't just give up on me. Come on, brain. And I, I just couldn't. I, I was just so exhausted. They knew it from beforehand because they were like, oh, but this is your shift. I'm like, yeah, but I started night shift this week because I'm helping a new building open up. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. no. You're here, we're going to interview you. So my interview went bad. They did not, obviously, I knew I was going to get negated for, for the position, but still, it, 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 it really did suck because I knew for a fact I was dead. I was exhausted. and That happens. So make sure you're well-rested. Make sure you know how to sell yourself and make sure you know how to give a problem, a solution, the solution you did, and then the end result of what, what happened to make it look all great. So... That's the only advice I can give you guys for interviews. Um, I am really am terrible at them. Um, it's best if you guys learn from like a manager. If a manager can give you a one-on-one -on -one 
where where they just talk to you like if they were interviewing you for a real fake for a real position instead of uh, and give you a fake uh interview that would be great because from personal experience managers if the manager can work with you and help you like to sell yourself that'd be great if they're all that smart i should say if they are that smart to help you move forward for me personally it, it does help but i'm just why sell myself I will just show you that's my type of character and there's a lot of us like that and there's a lot of us again we're simple-minded we don't really give you like this whole scroll of how good we are no we're just like um here's my bandana uh i checked the screen to make sure that i it actually matches i put it in in, in stock here's my next bandana these two can't go together as i know they're two different items so you know <laughs> you got to know how to sell yourself. Me, personally, I'll show you. Like, this, here. This one, over here. Don't put them together. That, that's how I am. So, interviews suck. I really do dislike interviews. So, with that being said, let me know about anything you guys dislike about interviews. What, what makes it seem, like, uncomfortable. That, that you guys need to, like, break the ice between you guys. Maybe, maybe uh, if you if you if you sell yourself like in the beginning, it's like, oh, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Now, can you tell me about your, your yourself a little bit, and then kind of break the ice that way? That can help too. But a lot of us, we're just simple-minded, or we're not, we're, we're we're very nervous when it comes to interviews, and especially the bigger the position is, the more nervous we are. And they can see them; they're like sharks trying to just like shoot you. Well, no, they're like shark hunters trying to shoot you down, and you're like. I want to get out. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below. But with that being said, I got a special thanks for you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.